You finally got your Quest 3, but there are so many apps and games that you might get overwhelmed. That is why we will discuss the most essential VR games and applications that you need for your Quest 3 headset, going all the way for new users to eventually the more experienced ones. To start off, a lot of apps have demo versions and Meta even provides some introduction experiences like firsthand to show its users the ropes of how they can use their Quest 3. But when you are ready, one of the first things that you should try are some standing and sitting titles, like for example Super Hot. Now this VR game has found its way on nearly every VR headset you can think of, and its core concept is very simple, where time moves when you move. Here, you will have to dodge bullets like you are in a matrix, while also trying to find the best solution to take out your enemies. But because of the unique aspect of the gameplay, it is a great introduction for people that are new to VR, but also still keeps a challenge for those who have been in virtual reality before. And a similar, yet highly popular VR game that you most likely already know is known as Beat Saber, since this is probably the most played and downloaded VR game of all time. And that is because it is a great way to experience VR firsthand. Now, in it, you'll be smashing blocks on the rhythm of some amazing songs while also trying to rank up the top score at the same time. But what makes it so good for newcomers is that it doesn't require you to move in your play area, so you can just stand up and practically stay in that same position. But don't think that this game is easy, because it can go from very slow to absolute god level, where even the most experienced VR users will have some huge struggles. But next up, we have something for all those board game lovers out there, and that is the game called Demio. Here, you can play with others in a Dungeon and Dragons type setting in both mixed reality as well as in virtual reality. This also directly makes it a very calm experience since it is played in a third person perspective. This means that you are looking at it to get a good overview of all that is happening down below. And thanks to that, it makes it less likely for you to experience things like motion sickness that we will get into more detail about soon. But besides these sitting down and standing games, there are also some very important and useful apps that you should definitely try out. And the most significant one has to be none other than big screen. This is a home cinema directly built into virtual reality, letting you watch any videos from YouTube to streams to even full on movies. Best of all, this app is completely free and you can even create private rooms to, for example, invite some of your friends. This makes it a must have app for the Quest 3, especially if you are thinking about using it for watching media. And as a bonus, it can even be used as a virtual desktop to display your computer inside VR. But let's level it up with these next titles that create a lot more immersion, starting off with Rec Room. Now this is not just any VR game. And although it is similar to things like Meta's own Horizon Worlds or the famously known VR Chat and Roblox VR, at its core, it is made to let users create their own virtual worlds, avatars, and even visit those of others. Here, you can enjoy activities together and meet up with friends and basically do any thing you can imagine. The only downside is that most of the younger Quest 3 users can be found here in Rec Room. So if that is a problem for you, then perhaps checking out the other social VR experiences that we mentioned before might be worth a try. But in the end, it is a great way to get used to virtual reality while also being able to interact with others. But once you feel like you want to take your Quest 3 experience really to the next level, then you can now finally start to dive into one of the more advanced titles, with probably one of the best titles on this list being the Walking Dead Saint and Sinners. The reason why it is not directly recommended to start with this game if you just got your VR headset is because of its free motion system. What that means is that unlike Beat Saber, where you stand in one position only, or games where you can use teleportation, it is in here that you can move freely with either your body or your VR controllers. And while that might sound amazing at first, for some people, it can create some intense motion sickness. So if you are experiencing that, take off your headset and try to slowly get used to it by playing some less intense games. But once you are ready for The Walking Dead Saint and Sinners, it is probably one of the most immersive VR games that you will play on the Quest 3, especially if you love the zombie genre. But if battle royales are more your thing, then you should probably check out Population 1, because this is a highly competitive VR shooter with some cool unique features to it, from gliding through the air by spreading out your arms to climbing on every tall building that you can see, and all of that while keeping your teammates alive and surviving on the battlefield. But if that is still not intense enough for you, then the free running game called Stride Fates should definitely fill your appetite. This is an adrenaline filled action game where you are running and jumping from rooftop to buildings. And thanks to its amazing physics based system, it also makes the gameplay feel highly realistic. The only thing you have to keep in mind is that when you leap off a roof, that you don't actually jump in real life as well. 
Now, as a bonus, one of the most immersive VR experiences that is probably available on your Quest 3 headset is none other than Bone Lab. And while by many it wasn't perceived as good as its predecessor on PC VR named Boneworks, it still is absolutely insane that you just have to try it out. But without spoiling too much, it has a mind bending story that will make you think of different solutions while keeping the action high paced at all time. And while all of these games and apps are amazing for the Quest 3, make sure to start off easily and slowly build your way up to the more hardcore kind of games. But if this is still not enough for you, then click on the video you see on screen right now, where we have even more experiences that you don't want to miss out on.